My trick to stuffing a burger with cheese in this case. I guess it could work with anything. We'll get into all that. And we're using a pimento cheese today. I'll tell you what that is in just a second. Then at the end of the video, also keep it here. Pretty cool teaser for a video from Thrillist that you ought to check out. So what is a pimento? No, it doesn't. They're actually, these things are stuffed inside of olives. They're not part of the olive. A pimento is really just a cherry pepper. It's a little sweeter maybe than a red bell pepper. And you find them, uh, we usually find them jarred, small jars of the diced up pimento. And they're soft, so it's not like using a fresh chopped red pepper. And around where I am, I'm in Charleston, South Carolina, pimento cheese is kind of common. You hear it's like the caviar of the South. Actually, I love good pimento cheese with a pretzel. But in this case, we're gonna be stuffing it inside a burger here. The recipe for pimento cheese is pretty simple. You got the pimentos and use, I just use the shredded cheddar that you buy in this grocery store. Some mayo, a lot of cream cheese, and you can make it hot with cayenne. You want to get all the detailed spices. I put the recipe on the blog. A brick of cream cheese, and essentially this is about how much it makes. And the kind of the trick to stuffing a burger is you get the cheese done first. I roll it up in parchment paper like you're seeing here, make it easier to handle because I'm going to be slicing it into discs. So then you take the cheese, you freeze it. It doesn't have to be rock hard, but pretty hard. And then while it's chilling and getting cold, uh, work with the ground beef and uh, make yourself simple hamburger patties. Here's the trick to stuffing it. First off, a, a basic 80-20 ground beef. Take a fistful of the hamburger meat, and I found like this Mick Ultra can was just about the right size, a smaller than a 12 ounce can, and just make a little divot in your burger. So you're making hamburger cups, and try and work them just the right size. You don't want them too thin because you don't want the cheese oozing out. And the trick will be, we're gonna take the cold cheese and just place it inside these cups of hamburger meat. You also want to work with the hamburger meat being really cold the whole time. Just makes it easier. You want to aim for making a uniform size patty and at least you know when you're cooking these that the inside is cheese. It's already cooked uh, but you want it to be warm through. It's the outside of the meat that uh, you want to cook to temperature. In the case of beef 160 degrees 155 if you do it right, you may see a little cheese oozing out here and there, but really, that's okay. It looks great. The pimento stuffed burger, you can do it with any sort of cheese as well. Just get the right size to insert inside your burger cup. That's it. Stuffed hamburgers with cheese. The one thing I've never really tried, and now I've got to try it, is dry aging steaks and meat. you got to see this uh, new video from my friends over at Thrillist where Dave takes a deep dive along with New York City Steakhouses on how they dry age their meat. Take a look now. It's at Thrillist, and go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube video. And if you want my free cookbook, there's a link to it in the description of this video here, or just head on over to www.barbecuetricks.com.